Well, a new tram is coming to Hawks Nest State Park as a continued effort of promoting tourism in the Mountain State. Paige Taylor is live in the studio with reactions from park visitors and what this could mean for the tourism in West Virginia. Paige. Hannah, this $8 million project is a continued effort by the state as last year tourism earned $50 million in revenue for the first time in state history. The tram replacement project at the Hawks Nest State Park in Fayette County is part of the $250 million the state has spent on state park investments over the last seven years. The original tram opened in 1970 but was deemed unsafe in 2021. And boy, that was a sad time for us until the gentleman to my right said, build it back, build it better, build it bigger. The $8 million project will create a new tram holding six people per car and operating on a pole system. The cars will also be ADA accessible. Officials say the project is a continued investment into state tourism as state parks brought in more than $50 million this past fiscal year. West Virginia Tourism Secretary Chelsea Ruby explaining what this means for the state moving forward. But I'll tell you the added benefit that you might not know which is, this is changing the way people think about our state. Really and truly, if you think back to where we were 10 years ago, people were not thinking about West Virginia as a, a popular destination. It wasn't that we weren't, it wasn't that the state's gotten prettier in 10 years, but we weren't telling that story. We weren't putting the funds behind telling that story. Hawks Nest visitors weighing in on the new tram. Design. And it's, I think it's an excellent idea, uh, excellent attraction. It's always been famous up here to look out and everything, and then going down to the water and riding a boat and stuff. Oh, yeah, it'll be well used. Construction on the tram is expected to be completed in late spring or early summer of next year. Live in the studio, Paige Taylor, Eyewitness News.